What up, YouTube? Um, today I'm coming at you with um, fresh cut method. As you can see, I got fresh cut. You know, A's. All right, but that's not the point of the video. But um, so what you're gonna want to need basically comb. Do that. You could get a comb like this. It don't matter. You can have a comb like this. Most of my combs are like this, anyways. You can have a comb like this. You can have any kind of comb, any kind of comb you want, any kind. You're gonna need a brush, preferably when a fresh cut. You need a soft brush, um, or or you, if your head cool, stand a medium comb again, um. And my fresh cut method, I will use um either one of these two products, um, castor oil or um, softy hair food. Uh, castor oil. One of my favorite products, or softy hair food. Hold on, me better. Come on, camera off. Focus. All right. But um, yeah. Um. Also, you want um. Whenever you get a fresh cut, you obviously you don't want to OD on the products you put in your hair. Because, you know, your hair is short. You don't want to put too much that your hair is just, like, full of grease and all that. But, you know, you just you want to put it right in mouth. So, preferably, I, I like to use castor oil a little bit more than softy hair food. That's what it looks like, you know. But, um, when you have a fresh cut, your waves should be deeper. But, let me just show you that I have straight hair. Straight. Pull it back. Lay it back down. But... Obviously, what you're gonna want to do is for this method, um, hot towel it before. Hot towel, you just um, put the hot towel under the water, steam it up, and put it on your head. And after that, after you put the hot towel on your head, you know you want to um, let it be on your head for at least five minutes here, five minutes here, five minutes here, five minutes here. Um, after that, I'm gonna let your hair be a little damp, dry it off a little, just let it be a little damp. Then you're gonna want to apply your product. Um, preferably, I like to apply my products to my roots. So what that means is you pull your hair back and put it in your hair when your hair's sticking up like a fro. But some people honestly like to put it like this. You can do that so it can lay down better, like this. But um, pretty much you're gonna want to take this much, you no, know, not too much, probably that much. Um. I don't really need none right now, but I'm just showing you. Um, but you could do that. Um, um, but yeah, for that you want to do that. Um, and for fresh cut, for a fresh cut, you don't need oh, my phone. Uh, my bad. Um, for fresh cut, you don't need um. That was an LOL moment, but for a fresh cut method, you don't need a pomade or something to really hold down your hair because, um, obviously, um, pomade is what holds down your hair, and I know people with straight hair, a lot of us struggle with, or, or some people, when they first start off, they struggle with getting waves because, um, they start off with pomades, and honestly, I used to think that was the key to going, but... The key to the way to starting getting waves, but it honestly isn't. Um, when you first starting to get your waves, if you use pomade, say I'm putting in pomade every day and do ragging it every day, every day, every day. You know what's gonna what what's gonna happen to your hair is your hair is gonna end up getting more straighter than it already is because you're uh, you're training your hair to be um straight. Even if you're brushing, your hair is just gonna lay down and stay straight. Um, but honestly, honestly, use the Castor oil one, you got a fresh cut with the softy hair food. Um, don't like I said, don't OD on the product. Um, use it um wisely. So take a fair amount. You never want to put too much of a product because if you put too much, it's gonna clog your um pores. You know, it's gonna get your hair greasy and thick. You know, you just you just don't want that for your hair. But um, whenever. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
whenever you get a fresh cut, you I say you should pretty much do this all the time. Hold on, let me just fix my collar. Um, put whenever your hair gets dry, that's when you want to put a moisturizer in. If your hair does not feel dry, then you honestly shouldn't be putting anything in your hair besides the first day you put it in. But um, you put it in. Um, first of all, when you get home from the barber shop, you want to wash your hair. I don't care what anybody says, it's not going to mess up your waves anyways, because they're going to wash your hair later, but I honestly think it's disgusting if you don't wash your hair after you get a haircut, because you just got all these hair flicking around the place. Just, that, that's nasty. Because what if you have, like, somebody, like, a girl touching your hair or something like that, you just touch it and it's like, oh, a bunch of hair. It's, it's disgusting. Um, so wash your hair with or against the green. Um, if it's with the green, I recommend brushing during, during the time you do that, but, um, um, wash your hair when you get home. Get home. Take a fair amount, like I said. Put it put it in your hair. Brush for about 5-10 minutes. You know, brush. Brush, 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 brush. 5-10 minutes. And then after that, um, you know, do-rag it. Always do-rag after you put a product in. Always. Um, keep getting your lineups every week. You know, keep staying faithful to the wave game. You're never going to get waves of straight hair if you don't try. Getting waves of straight hair takes patience. Well, you can get them. That's how I got them. It took a little while for me to get them, like, like a month it took me. But I was patient, you know. Again, uh, I'll recap. One of these two products. You, you can use any, but I recommend these. Because castor oil makes your hair thick and grows back faster. So does softy hair food. But the smell on this... Is honestly not better than castor oil smell. It smells more like a chemical. Castor oil smells like more of a good scent. But um, yeah. So you need either those, a brush or CQP. Get that off CrownQualityProducts.com. Comb, do rag or su rag. I'm I'm using my do rag now right now because my sleep my su rag just slips off. So I don't, I don't know. But um, yeah. Um, like I said, wash your hair right after you get out of the bar because you just, you honestly don't want your hair just being all nasty all over the place. Wash it, do rag it, um, brush it, brush it five, ten minutes. That's it, but you know, if you guys have any requests for a video, any requests, I'll hit me up in my inbox and in my comments. I'll, I'll probably do it as soon as possible, you know. Um, but yeah, this has been, um, how to get waste fresh cut method, you know. Um, until next time, see you guys later. Peace.